Hello, this is Rory with the Love Chat, and today's topic is I'm Afraid. Now, this is video number 148. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the Love Chat, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy these videos, I'd be so very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Also, if you'd like to do a Skype or email coaching, just visit my website, thelovechat.net slash coaching. Now then, let's talk about being afraid. It is such an easy state to get to after a breakup. We don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know if this person's ever going to come back, if this is the only type of person we'll meet that will make us feel that special way, and we begin telling ourselves a lot of things that may or may not be true. I'm going to be alone forever. They're never going to come back. They're going to start dating somebody else. Why would they even want you? And we make ourselves very, very afraid. The problem with being this way is that then we begin to act on that fear. But we have to remember that fear in and of itself is a negative emotion, and emotions are not informed by intelligence. They are impulses, and if you act from fear, you'll usually be pretty good at making the thing you're afraid of happen. Now, let's use an example. If I'm in a relationship, and I'm constantly afraid that my partner is being unfaithful or cheating on me, I'll begin acting out on those fears if I allow myself to rather than soothing my anxiety in helpful, healthy ways. I'll begin saying things like, Hey, are you cheating on me? Who was that person you were just talking to? Let me see your phone. And I may even resort to some more extreme behaviors. I've heard in some cases where a partner bought a second phone, then they turned on the location services and threw that second phone in their partner's car just to make sure that their partner was actually going to work and not cheating on them. This level of fear and anxiety is only meant to drag you down and to make you believe that the worst of the worst is going to happen. It's going to have you believe that everybody's out to get you, your partner can't be trusted, and that you should be afraid. But when you allow fear to manifest, it will continue down a line of fear. It will continue down a line of anxiety. And so how do you beat fear or anxiety? The reality is, fear and anxiety probably aren't going to go away but they can be soothed. And for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, perhaps I sound like a broken record, talking about self-love, self-work, exercising, healthy eating, talking to a counselor. And perhaps you're looking for something a little different, something a little more, um, a little less obvious. And the reality is, is that fear is a perception. It's a trick of the mind. You're afraid because you think that something bad is going to happen. You are anxious because you are anticipating pain, or hurt. But these are perceptions. I often talk about when a partner breaks up with you and they begin dating again, and they're telling themselves all of these ideas and saying, oh, it's going to be great, I'm going to be single, I'm going to go date 100 people, it's going to be amazing, and then that expectation falls short, and that's one of the biggest reasons they come back, is because what they thought, right, the greener grass, wasn't actually all that greener. They just perceived it as greener. But life is behaviors, and life is perception. Because what we perceive, and what someone else perceive, are entirely different. And so for this, I often turn to Stoicism. And so for those of you who have done coaching with me, you may have heard me say this thing. And this is from the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. Another person will not hurt you without your cooperation. You are hurt the moment you believe yourself to be. And so I hate to give you guys a cliche, but... We should be making actions based on love for ourself, rather than fear for what another person might do. Remember that you don't have to live with them for the rest of your life. But you do have to live with you for the rest of your life. But we keep making actions based on what they might do, rather than what we should do. Life can be scary sometimes. Change is weird. It's difficult. It's new. And we are anxious of change because we're not familiar, and we think that it's going to bring more pain and less pleasure. But the reality is, is that suffering is optional. Struggle is not. So struggle well. Struggle for something you care about. And perhaps that starts by defining what it is that you care about, and then struggling in such a way where your life will be better because of that struggle. That's all I have for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and tell me what topics you want me to cover in the future. Additionally, if you'd like extra videos every week, private live streams with me, 
and free giveaways of my book, just visit my Patreon, patreon.com slash thelovechat. Until next time.